Good morning, everyone. This is Matt Persant over at Kia of Columbia, Missouri. Just want to reach out to you to get you some information on this 2021 Kia Sportage S all-wheel drive coming in the steel gray. Now, before we get this video started off, I just want to let everybody know that uh, not only am I getting you the information on this vehicle, I can help you out with these vehicles because I also sell them. But uh, kicking it off here, you can see this S model comes with a nice darker alloy wheel set, dark chrome accents and chrome accents. You can see the dark chrome is along the lower trim and then the regular chrome is on the window trim here. You're gonna have a manual lift gate, heated back glass with a rear wiper and sprayer on here. See the turn indicators down below. Beautiful looking color. This particular model is all wheel drive. You have privacy glass on the rear windows. Up front, you're gonna have projector beam headlights as well as projector beam fog lights, as well as some nice LED daytime running lights. More dark chrome accents on the mesh grill here, as well as a bar down below. Vehicle comes with some nice safety features. You got some turn indicators, blind spot monitors, backup camera as well. Checking out your blind spot monitors. This is gonna give you uh, blind spot collision avoidance, as well as some other features like safe exit assist, rear cross traffic alert. It, blind spot monitors are taking care of you while you're driving forward in reverse as well as parked. You got power locks, windows, and mirrors. You can see the driver window is auto down. You also have power folding mirrors. These are automatic, so when you lock or unlock the vehicle, uh, those will open or close for you automatically. A little bit of style. Sleek and curvaceous is what the sport is. You've got dash illumination, blind spot monitor, and lane keep assistance control. Lane keep assistance is going to keep you from veering outside of the lane. You can see we've got a nice gray interior with some perforated leather here for breathability. Six-way adjustable manual driver seat. You can raise it up or down, adjust your angle, and move fore and aft. Popping in here. We're going to turn our hazard lights off, save you from the uh, dink donk, dink donk. Steering wheel is going to be leather wrapped for you. We can see we can unlock it here. We can telescope this. We can also tilt it up and down. Get that locked in. Kia steering wheels have your entertainment on the left, driving and information tools on the right. So to the left, we've got our voice control, your audio sources. You can cycle through those. Volume control. You can see this treaded button here is also pressable. Uh, tracks and presets, Bluetooth, and then on the right, you've got your driving and information tools. This column here is going to control your drive display. And on the display, you can see from the get-go, we've got our fuel range, our drive selection, ambient temperature, as well as the odometer. Let's make sure we're on the first screen here. You can see that we've got our digital speedometer, some fuel economy, as well as trip information. And then moving over is gonna be what I call our safety screen. You can see your lane keep assist, see where the lines are registered on the road. Your driver attention system is paying attention to your driving habits and will recommend if you take a break if it feels like your attention level is low and you can refresh yourself. Moving down here, you also have onboard tire pressure. Then going into your settings here, you can see that you can control your driver assistances, things like your warning system, your lane safety, forward collision avoidance as well. So this has some automatic front braking as well as rear cross traffic alert, as well as blind spot collision warning. So got some nice safety features on here. Okay, then you can go through here, you can, uh, you know, change the sounds, turn your welcome sound on, nice little chime when you get in and out. You also have a traction control option on the Sportage right here too, so you can get that adjusted right here. Usually there's a traction control button right here, but each vehicle is just a little bit different. Left-hand wand is gonna control your blinkers, brights, headlights, and fog lights. You can see you've got automatic headlights on here, and just a quick test, yep, you've got high beam assistance on the S model Sportage. So the high beams will turn on and off automatically for you. And then you've got your uh, front and rear wipers with their sprayers on your right-hand wand here. Up above, you get your interior lighting, front and rear. You can also press these, of course. You've got a nice sunglass holder, standard rear view mirror for you. 
And then down below, we've got a nice eight inch display here for you. This eight inch display is gonna give you uh, a hardwire, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto connection. You've also got some different applications in here like your phone, a quick guide for the vehicle, your radio, music, your various settings. You can record voice memos in the vehicle with whatever you record saved right here. And that's gonna be it for this screen. Down below, you have analog controls for everything, nice and centrally located. You also have a favorite button that you can press right here, and you can set your preferred application here. And with that, you can also customize the mode button on the steering wheel so you can select which uh, audio sources you actually want to cycle through. Some people don't even use AM radio, so why cycle through it and, uh, you know, Get that slight disgruntlement when you're cycling through single climate uh, manually controlled temperature system in this vehicle you've got your heated back glass with uh, this system right here and you also get a nice set of heated seats for the front two passengers and down below we've got a power and storage area here's your charging port as well as your data connection to the entertainment system with two 12 volt outlets Shifter, you've got park, reverse, neutral, drive, as well as some manual shifting capability. Putting the vehicle in reverse, it's gonna bring up your backup camera automatically. You can see you've got clear view of the rear bumper with a nice wide angle view for the camera. This has projected pathing, so this is gonna show you exactly where you're gonna be going and turning to. So you can see if I wanted to back right back into the spot where this Sportage was, as long as there is nothing in between this box, between these two lines, your Sportage will not impact with anything. So you can use this for distance judgment as well as see where you're going around a corner to see if you're cutting too hard. Okay. We got some different drive modes and features here. So if we press the drive mode button, you can see we've got a normal, eco, and sport mode. These are pretty self-explanatory. Um, eco is gonna be more conservative. Sport is gonna be more aggressive for you. And then normal is gonna be a mixture of the two, right? You also have a downhill brake control. This is going to help you maintain speed while you're driving downhill. So you don't have to keep your foot on the brakes and giving that some heat soak, making them uh, ineffective when you may need them. You've also got an all wheel drive lock here. This is a center differential lock. You can see that you've got a notification as well as an icon on the dash. This is going to give you better 50-50 front and rear power distribution at low speeds when you really need that. A little bit of extra storage right here. Cup holders with pressure tongs for your smaller bottles and cans. Nice little storage area right here. I love to put my phone and keys here in my Stinger. All key is coming with this nice little storage spot, so very well utilized. Center console is gonna be a nice deep well for storage. You've also got your glove box over here. Last but not least, we've got our visors. These are gonna be mirrored. They have a card clip. These also are going to telescope for you to reach the full length of the door. And that's gonna wrap it up for the front seating area. So next we're gonna to move to the back as well as the hatch. All right, just waving to everybody here. I get here a little bit earlier so I can help you guys out. See, we've got some hard back seats here with some leg indentions for extra leg room, cargo nets, rear ventilation, as well as a 12 volt outlet for some extra charging capability. There's seating for three back here. You've also got an armrest with some bottle holders here for you. Bottle holders are slightly smaller than cup holders. Keep that in mind. You can see these are a little bit smaller. You've got the lighting up above, of course, handles as well. Center seat belt drops down for when you need it. Otherwise, it's tucked out of the way. Now, these rear seats can fold down for you, okay? Just pull that lever. That'll fold right on down if uh, this seat weren't so far back. I've got it pretty far back for filming purposes. You can see this is actually the default position for the seat. I don't know who likes to sit like that, but uh, you know, whatever tickles your fancy. You can pull this lever and lean it even further back than where the seat was. So you've really got some nice angle here uh, for resting positions. And then you've got your latch system for child seating and you can use this angle adjustment uh, to get your car seat installed. And then you can lean the seat forward to increase tension on the car seat. You can see here when you've got the vehicle in cargo mode, you've also got this nice little clip right here where you can tuck the seat belt back. Let's actually go ahead and get that up here. All right. 
Moving back here, you can see fuel door that just pops right open for you. Again, manual lift gate on the S model. See back here, we've got some floor mats as well as a nice rubberized cargo tray for this model. We've got some rear lighting back here as well as some hooks for the cargo net that's available. Underneath here, you can see we've got an under tray with your roadside tools as well as the spare tire. Now you can see there is an extra rail right here. This whole board, you can slide out and I'm gonna just save us some time here because of all the accessories back here, but you can see that this is able to be pulled out and you can slide it further down for some extra cargo volume. Ugh, here we go. So uh, high utility in the rear cargo space right here for sure. That's gonna be about it for the Sportage. Real quick, we're gonna wrap around to the um, passenger seat area here, just confirm some adjustability. It's gonna be a four-way adjustable seat over here. I always like to confirm that with folks. So there is that for you. That is gonna wrap it up. And now we've also got the LED daytime running lights on, so you can check that out too while I'm wrapping around to wrap this up. Guys, if you'd like any more information, pricing, purchasing options, help with this vehicle, head over to KiaOfColumbia.com. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family for anybody that's looking. Also, leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information I've provided to you today. Most importantly, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, doing my best to catch up on uploading videos on a more constant basis for you. But uh, again, I do sell these vehicles as well, so it gets a little busy sometimes. But I'd love to help you and your friends and your family. If you know anybody that's looking, we also have an awesome referral system you can contact me about too. Thanks so much, guys. This is Matt Croissant at Kia of Columbia, Missouri. If this video has helped you make a big purchasing decision and you were not able to purchase from me, please feel free to utilize my tip jar in the about section of my channel. Even one penny is appreciated. Thanks again, guys. Hope you're having a great day.